Hey guys, it's me Filecore, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over Skyguard Grenadier, see how it performs. I feel like it's going to be mostly a soloing class, so we'll go over that aspect. However, it does work pretty well in PvP. I won't be showing that off, sadly, because it's too difficult to kind of find people for, not going to lie. And um, yeah, let's go from there. To actually get the class, you want to join Skyguard. You'll have to get your rank uh, in the reputation up to 10. You go to reputation shop right here and it'll be here. It's a member only class. However, it's pretty okay for what it was, especially back in the day. Enhancement wise, I would recommend full look. That's what I'm running. I'd also recommend using something like Smite as a forge enhancement, just as it interacts with your fifth skill. With this, you'll deal more damage when it does activate, similar to other nuke style classes. Okay, so here's a quick rundown of the skills. The first skill is going to be Bombard. Bombard deals 133% weapon damage. It applies Scorch, which is a DOT for the target for 3 seconds. This also, inter also interacts with your fifth skill, which is going to be your Nuke. Your second skill, Flashbang, deals damage and applies Blinded. Also interacts with your fifth skill. However, by itself, reduces the enemy's hit chance by 20% for 15 seconds. Your third skill is Sleeping Gas. This is also once again going to interact with your fifth skill. However, Sleeping Gas is going to reduce the enemy defense by 20% for 15 seconds, reduce the dodge by 20% as well, and also has a 25% chance to stun for 4 seconds. So overall, pretty good if you're going to do it solo for a fight. Also pretty good for your teammates if you can apply these debuffs. Your fourth skill is Reload. This basically stops you from using skills but gives you every single bit of mana back. This is due to the class being really mana heavy and is what you want to use dead last after your nuke to be honest. Okay, your fifth skill is going to be Reactive Grenade. As mentioned, this is your nuke and interacts with your first to third skill. So, if your enemy has Scorched from the first skill, you'll deal more damage. If the target is blinded, you'll get Rally, which is a heal over time for yourself. If they're Sleeping Gassed, you'll get Elude, which increases your damage resistance by 50% for 8 seconds. And also, secondary effects last 8 seconds overall for everything. This includes the heal over time. And it's always going to crit. Regarding the combo, what I'd recommend is doing 3, 2, 1, 5, making sure Scorch is applied, and also your third skill first, just so you get the defense drop on the enemy. After that, press your fourth skill and you'll be golden. Um, you can do it whatever way you want, as long as you press your fourth skill after your nuke, basically, but uh, yeah. As you can see, even with higher damage enemy bosses, such as the Blood Titan, the heal over time works extremely well, as well as the damage uh, resistance. I would say it's quite a quite reliable class in that sense, however, the meaning of the damage and having to stop due to your fourth skill is kind of a pain, however, like I said, it's quite reliable in the sense that you got a decent heal over time and also okay damage going out when you do get your combo off. I'd probably give it like a solid B+. I'll showcase the farming to you while I talk, um, would not say this is a good farming class at all, mana usage is just way too high as mentioned like you do have your decent heal over time and stuff but uh, you know at the same time you're not really doing too well mana sense therefore it's not going to be great because as you can see i run out of mana i am forced to press my fourth skill i can't use my first second and third without using my nuke really and yeah probably give it a solid c minus Overall, I think the design of the class is very nice armor-wise, and I think the rotation is super simple and easy for people to use. However, at the same time, like I said, a B plus for the soloing. It's a bit slow, but really reliable. Definitely C minus or D tier for the farming. The mana usage is just way too high, and you can't really get too much out uh, from your actual combo on single enemies. Uh, overall though, like I said, PvP 2, uh, pretty decent. I wasn't able to record anything for PvP just because it's awkward to get into fights for it, but it's got the stun and everything. And if you do get the stun off, you get some nice damage output from your, your combo. However, you do have to stun yourself at some point, which is a shame. Overall, I'd say it's a good class. If you want to go farm it, please do. Uh, it's still usable and still works in this day and age. I'm pretty sure it was revamped somewhat recently, if I, rem if I remember correctly, but uh, don't hold me to those words. Uh, but yeah. If you do like the content, please do subscribe. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Have a good day, good night, good evening, whatever time it may be for you. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.